breaking right now shocking news that Prince Harry will not return to the UK for his own uncle's funeral. This is Robert Fellows, who is the husband of Diana's sister, who Harry claims to be very close to. And Calvin, what's most shocking is the reason behind this. He says it's because of security concerns. It's because of this ongoing row that he's having with his dad, who he's desperate to step in and force the government to give taxpayers money, our money, Calvin, so he can be protected even though he's no longer a working member of the royal family when he's in the UK. But there's so much irony in this, Calvin, because in the week that he says it's too dangerous to go to Norfolk, which is where this funeral is being held, he's going to go to Colombia. Instead, one of the world's most dangerous countries. What do you make of it, Calvin? Oh, uh, it's just another lefty thing, isn't it? This is what they do. Everything's politics for them. He's making a point. He's making a point to his father. It's not safe for me to come back to the UK unless you give me what you, what I want. It's like a toddler having a tantrum. Is that, that's exactly what it is. I want this toy. If you don't give me this toy, I'm going to stamp my feet in the supermarket and scream until I get it. This is Harry for you, unfortunately. The fact that he thinks he, he can't visit Norfolk that's one of the safest places in the world. Yeah, he's going to go to Colombia. Are you mad? And bless him. Uh, on, on Diana's side of the family as well, who he claims to be closer to, mm. and he's obviously still estranged his father's side of the family, but on his mother's side, this is really strange for him. And actually, I, I bet many of his uh, relatives will be upset by the fact that he won't be there. It's great shame. Uh, I feel sorry for him. I'll keep him in my prayers and hope that he can come around to some common sense and put his uh, left-wing woke politics aside because this is his family and nothing's more important than that. I know, but isn't that the irony, Calvin? Constantly, Prince Harry and Meghan Markle are talking about the importance of family, the importance of loved ones. But I will never forget the night, well, it was two nights before the late Queen's death. And she had just pulled out of the Privy Council. And I knew that things were not good with her health. And Prince Harry was in the country, Calvin, at the time. And I was on my GB News show and I just learned about the Queen and I think I was feeling quite emotional about the whole thing and I just spoke off the cuff, nothing was scripted or anything like that. But I said, Harry, just go, forget this feud, just go to Balmoral now, go and see your grandmother before it's too late. He didn't, so he hadn't seen her for a long time before her death. And I feel like this is a new low because it's not even about visiting Robert Fellows before he dies. It's about being there for the rest of his family. I mean, could you imagine Diana's reaction to the fact that he wouldn't be at his own uncle's funeral? I know. And I think no matter how estranged he is from his brother, I'm sure his brother would appreciate him by his side at an event like this. And we all do. We're, we've all got families. Every family has got some kind of strain. And, you know, I love my sister to bits, but if I wasn't speaking to my sister and someone in our family died, I know I would be there for her regardless of what had gone on between us because that's what family does. Blood is thicker than water and we have to come together in the end. And it's a great, great shame that he, he hasn't done that for his uncle, but also that he didn't do that for his grandmother. And he will probably have that on his conscience for the rest of his life. Oh, absolutely he will. Absolutely he will. And the thing that I think is so shocking, Calvin, look, there's lots of times that ordinary folk cannot attend funerals because it can be down to cost or not being able to miss work and that's understandable but when you're one of the most privileged men in the world and when you're rich and when you're not doing it because of a petty row which by the way Calvin it's never going to be resolved this row that's the other frustrating thing with Harry it's like can you imagine if Charles just to appease Harry overturned a government decision that's when you start getting into the area of constitutional crisis the government has looked at the rules calvin they do not believe it is appropriate to give security for harry paid for by the taxpayers when he's not a member of the royal family and when he's making millions and millions of his own money in the u.s just like by the way if elon musk comes to the uk on personal business he doesn't get security paid for by you or me. Quite right, too. I don't want to pay for it. I don't want to pay for Elon Musk's security. I don't want to pay for Harry's security. 
He's not a working role. He doesn't deserve it. It doesn't need it in that fact. And, I, I, and you're quite right. If he's making Netflix money and Spotify money, he can probably afford his own security. But actually, I think we need to go a step further. I've been saying this all along. I've been saying this on your show for years. We need to strip him of his titles. Yes. You know, if he's no longer a working role, he should no longer be a royal full stop. First, though, what's so important about being independent is I'm only ever going to tell you about products that I use and truly believe in, and Verso is one of them. Uh, I've entered my 40s, so staying healthy is really important to me. I exercise virtually every day, wasn't very good over the weekend, had a few drinks, but usually I'm doing the 16-8 fast, I have lost weight. However, scientists like David Sinclair have proven we can now reverse aging with interventions that go beyond healthy habits. So I wanted a product that I knew would enhance everything I was already doing, one that's backed up by solid evidence. I cannot tell you how good cell being by Verso is. That's the name of the product, cell being. It has scientifically proven ingredients that fight the effects of aging. It does that by increasing the NAD plus levels. Now, NAD plus, that's the thing that powers every cell in your body. For me, the product has been transformative. Fasting is so much easier. I've lost fat. I'm eating less too. And that's because it has blood sugar regulating effects in the product, which actually lead to fewer cravings. It really helps with sleep too and energy. So this is a brilliant anti-aging product. The really helpful thing to know too is that Verso publishes third-party testing from each batch produced to guarantee you are getting what you paid for. And I'm very excited to say an amazing offer today. If you head right now to buy.ver.so forward slash outspoken, you will save 15% on your first order. All you need to do is use the coupon code outspoken. The link is available in our YouTube and Rumble description. But to repeat, buy.ver.so forward slash outspoken. Use the coupon code outspoken. Absolutely. And there's actually come really interesting. You raise that. There's a growing movement, actually. And I'm going to speak to Robert Jobson about this because I'm fascinated to know what he thinks. But there's a growing movement within the royal family that actually says we've got to deal with the line of succession here. And hear me out on this, Calvin, because William is obviously the heir to the throne and then it's his three children. But you'll remember William travels with his family including on helicopters and planes which was something that the queen the late queen was really opposed to because she thought that it put the line of succession under some threat because look you just imagine a worst case scenario where and please god and i don't want to put this out into the universe but just imagine a worst case scenario where something happens to william and his three children you're in a situation where you have king harry and queen Meghan which would be the end of the royal family, wouldn't it? So that's why it's not just about the titles anymore, Calvin. It's about, mm -hmm. I think, something more significant. It's about looking at a change of law, and this would be very controversial, and I don't think Charles would want to do it. This is the problem, but I think William would want to do it. A change of law that would mean that Harry would be removed from the line of succession. And even more significantly, Calvin, there's another idea... Uh, which is that you would take George, because you know George is obviously under 18, and if something were to happen to Charles and William, you would take George, he would obviously be king, but you would make Princess Anne his regent. So she would effectively be doing the job of monarch. Because could you imagine if George was king, if something happened to Charles and William, but actually because of the line of succession, Harry would be regent. Yes, I can imagine. And we've had similar situations in the past when uh, King Henry VIII died and Edward VII took over and politicians essentially took over the king because he was too young to govern for himself. And we could see a similar situation with a with a woke lefty celebrity from L.A., formerly Prince Harry, essentially govern, governing from behind the scenes. That would be dire. That would be disastrous. So, yeah, I think they need to seriously consider who's next in line for the throne. I actually... I think Prince William needs to uh, step up and, and listen to his late grandmother because, yes, family is important. We've, we've said this throughout this conversation, but of course, the country is more yeah. important. The crown to, to, is important. To, to be honest, you know I'm usually pretty on side with William about things, but I think it's so irresponsible, Calvin. Yeah. Even the other day, right? Do you remember he went to, what was it? Uh, was it the Olympics? Well, no, football, football, Euros final. Um and he went with George on a plane. Now, yeah. if that plane were to crash, you have a very sick king. 
you are damning the United Kingdom to King Harry and Queen Meghan. Just don't do it. Just don't take the risk. And I understand it's a bit difficult when you've got young kids and he wants them to live a normal life. But I think they could find a way to make it work for George to go with maybe another member of the family on the plane or someone who he trusted or the nanny. Could the nanny not take George on the plane with security? I mean, I have it on very good authority that the King's cancer is getting worse and his health is not in a good state. And so times like this, we need to be ex extra, especially careful of how we protect the sovereign, how we protect the crown and the future of the sovereign, the future of the crown. So Prince William needs to be taking extra cautious steps to protect his son yeah. and have some kind of separation from them when they're traveling, especially yeah. by a plane, by a plane uh, for, for the country's sake, because yeah, the country just, will be... I just think it doesn't even matter what form of transportation it is, Calvin, I would say do not travel with George. There is too much at stake. And I would also argue that the royal family should be considering actually removing Harry from the line of succession by law. Uh, because you know, things are going so badly for him anyway, Calvin. Did you see he's lost another staff member this week as chief of staff, Josh, Josh Kettler, quitting after just three months. It's like the 18th member of staff he's lost. I mean... God, what's going Why on can Harry and Meghan guys? not keep staff? What is yeah. it about this pair that people keep leaving or getting fired left, right and centre? It seems like they're not a nice couple to work for. <laughs> yeah, I think I think that's a pretty fair assumption, Just Father Calvin. <laughs> uh, look, thank you so much for breaking off your holiday. Say hi to Lawrence for me. Have an incredible time. And, and don't stay in exile. You've got to come back. You've got to come back. I'm, I'm, Dan, I really don't want to come back. In fact, the mosquitoes are eating me now, so I'm going to go and dive in the sea, but I don't want to come back to England. No, it's sad. It's a sorry state of affairs, but we need folk like you. Father Calvin Robinson, thank you so much. I will see you next week. Thank you so much for watching Dan Wharton Outspoken. Please do subscribe if you want lots more clips and interviews like that. Plus, if you want to watch our totally uncensored after show, then visit www dot outspoken dot live